everyone, I'm Carly from Beach Life Studio and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be talking about how to be more consistent with your art and whilst I chat about that you can also watch me draw on Procreate and the iPad. And this is a drawing of Barbie inspired by the new Barbie film coming out soon which I'm really excited for. So being more consistent with your art can just really help build our skills and our motivation to draw. And by the way, don't feel pressured to be consistent all the time. Art should be fun. Don't put pressure on yourself to like do it every single day if that's not really what you want to do. Just enjoy the process and have fun. But being consistent with your art, maybe you want to improve your skills at drawing. It can also help to build an engaged audience and maybe you want to grow a business from it. So being consistent can be important in some of those areas. Areas. So the first thing you want to do is like take small steps because if you just do too many things you're going to like burn out and lose the motivation because you'll end up procrastinating. This could be things like pressuring yourself to draw for like an hour every day and maybe that's just not realistic. So just whatever works for you around your schedule like even if it's just five minutes a day and like maybe you're trying to learn too many things all at once like you're trying to do color theory, you're trying to learn how to draw the human body and the face and all the other things. So I know it's probably exciting and you want to like do all the things, but just take a step back and take it small steps at a time. And over time, you will notice that consistency will become easier after like me sharing all these little things in the video. Plus, you also really want to love what you do. If you don't have a passion for art, it's going to be very hard to be consistent and you just won't feel motivated. So you really do need to love what you do. So make sure that it's something that you enjoy and um, change things up. So sometimes sticking with just like one thing though can get really repetitive and boring. So I think you should change things up. Keep on being creative in different areas, try in different mediums. Like don't just pick one medium and then think that's it. Like as artists, I feel like we need to be creative in all different areas, you know, otherwise we can just get so bored. Of repeating the same thing keep on trying different things and just like keep it exciting as well as like when you do say that to yourself like oh I'm only gonna just draw on procreate which is what I've done you suddenly like want to do other things because you're restricting yourself from allowing that creativity in other places but also buying new art supplies can be really good to keep us consistent because it can motivate us to like keep being creative because obviously new art supplies are very exciting and I, I love going into art stores and picking out new pencils and sketchbooks and all that. That is something that I have actually missed just being like a procreate artist which is basically coming up in my next video. I'm actually going to be sketching in my sketchbook with pencils and copy markers so I hope you're excited to see that. Um, I'm going to be drawing like Barbie themed illustrations as well because of the Barbie movie coming out. I'm kind of getting a little bit excited for that so like lately for me I've really lost my art motivation and I haven't been very consistent but what I've done is like I have changed things up I've tried a new medium like why not me new I have done it before drawing my sketchbook but like I've gone back to it and I really have been wanting to try out markers for so long and I keep putting it off because like of all these things anyway I'm going to chat about this a lot more in depth in my next video but anyway if you do digital art, like maybe try out some new Procreate brushes or try a new color palette. Also watching other people being creative. Whenever I watch people doing drawings on YouTube, like within halfway of the video, I'm like pausing it and I'm getting my sketchbook or something because I really need to like start drawing. It just, I don't know, it just really motivates me that does. Or even just going to art classes, find local workshops and classes maybe that you can get involved in and that will really keep you motivated and keep you consistent because if you're booking in classes, it's like booking in exercise classes at the gym. It kind of pushes you to like, you know, attend the classes which keeps your consistency going and it um, helps you just to stay motivated. So I guess this video is kind of like consistency, motivation and inspiration all kind of linked into one, isn't it? <laughs> Um, the next thing is to change up your art space. So maybe like you're always drawing in the same space, always at the same desk maybe. Try new places to draw from. Even go outside and like, I don't know, draw in the garden or go to the beach and take a sketchbook. Like this can really spark new inspiration and where you're like in new places, your brain doesn't get so bored and just repetitive. 
keep it fresh, keep it exciting, move around the house, <laughs> draw from different areas. Even tidying up and reorganizing your whole art space, your art desk can actually help you be more, be more consistent because it's more fun to go to your desk once it's all tidy or if you want to buy like a new desk chair, some lights, some candles, anything that's going to make you feel inspired to like draw, get it really set up really cozy and really set the mood before you draw. And another thing is like actually have your desk and space set up ready to go so that when you go into your art room like things are already set out ready for you to just get going and draw. And sometimes seeing it all ready to go as well can actually motivate you a little bit more to like just sit down and get going. So that helps you to be more consistent. Another thing is to like take breaks and focus on other things. Like make sure you do take yourself away from the art sometimes, you know, and just don't even think about it. And um, because when you're doing other things, it can really make you miss art and then it makes you more excited to get back to it. And if you're going out for the day, and you're seeing inspiration around you and you're like getting ideas for drawings so that when you come back home you're like oh my god I really need to like draw something now I'm like so inspired um so yeah doing that can be really good but saying that also surround yourself with art <laughs> it kind of like goes like the opposite of that what I just said but when you're doing other things like maybe you go on YouTube and watch videos look up art videos and also learn like how to draw and take courses make use of your time that you have spared to like surround yourself with art and keep your mind active around like when you're going out for the day always looking for inspiration thinking about new drawings um because that way your your brain starts to get used to like you know being an artist so that it naturally just starts to get inspired by things and it won't be so hard to be consistent in the long run it'll start to get easier and easier for you um, so I also just think that doing something little, like I said at the beginning, every single day um, helps to create habit, um, create systems in your mind to like, like the more you surround yourself with it, the more you're going to become that person. And it's, it's going to become a lot easier for you to be consistent because you are an artist. Like don't tell yourself that you're not an artist and that you're not good at drawing. No matter what stage or what level you're at, you're always like can be better. You can always learn um, so yeah, just surround yourself with all the things, art and being better as a person and self-development as well, that can all just help you grow as an artist and be um, more consistent. And so the next thing is you want to figure out the time of day that you're most creative. Don't try and force drawing in a time of part of the day where you know that you're like more tired or you just can't be bothered because it's going to be harder for you. Try and figure out which times of the day that you have that creative energy and then focus on the tasks at that time of day. So for me, it's like the morning, mostly after I've just had my coffee and I've just been watching a couple of art videos whilst I was drinking my coffee. And then after that, I'm like ready to go and do some drawing or something. And the last thing is to create systems and habits. Like I was saying about doing something every day, it's going to help train your brain and that's going to create new habits that you know how you, every day you get up, you're always going to brush your teeth, you're always going to brush your hair, do all these little daily habits that come naturally and you don't even think about it, but you just do them. Well, try and like incorporate uh, drawing or art stuff into your days so it becomes natural to you. And before you know it, you'll kind of be doing all these art things without it even feeling like you're forcing it or something, or you have to think about it. Um, so yeah, and creating systems is like, create ways to be creative faster so that, because if you're a busy person in the day, like, like I was saying, make your desk ready to go, have all your paintbrushes out, have your water ready, so that if you wanted to go in there and do some drawings and that, you can just sit down and get started right away. You don't have to unpack things every time because that's just going to waste time. And you just like, if you're busy, you want things to be like easier for you and save time. Like if you're scanning, make sure your scanner and printer is set up and ready to go. Make sure files are organized so that it's easy to like find stuff that you need. Just yeah, creating systems that are going to help you be more proactive and productive type of thing you know but I think that's pretty much everything I have to cover 
in this video so i hope that it's helped you in some way and motivated you let me know in the comments if you enjoyed it and give the video a thumbs up i hope you've enjoyed watching my barbie drawing as well i'll see you all in another video soon thanks for watching bye